hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to day 19 of the Made Painting Challenge. So, tonight, no painting done. None at all. <laughs> tonight was the gaming night. So, uh, we played a multiplayer, four-player game of uh, Relic Knights, which was awesome. Uh, had some guys out playing Infinity. And then, guess what? Hey, Tori Ling, that's right, Tori Ling from the Made Painting Challenge, came out and gamed with us, and we played a board game called Room 25. It's one of my personal favorites. You guys might have heard me talking about that on the show before. Um, it's just a fantastic game. It's basically uh, The Resistance meets uh, Cube in a miniatures game, and I love the game, uh, and uh, there were the right number of people to play it, so six people playing. Tori stopped in, we played some games, uh, and then I did some shopping for miniatures. So I didn't paint anything tonight, but I did pick this up. This is a Metal Fiametta from Relic Knights, back when they uh, put out Metal Miniatures back in 2010. Um, and I bought the, and I, and I mentioned to Tori, hey, you gotta be kind of insane to buy this, because um, the, the bits were so fiddly back then, uh, and compared to the plastics, the plastic kit nowadays, um, you know, why would you put yourself through that hassle? So I bought this miniature, um, there are six pins in this miniature, and I had to break out, literally broke out the smallest pins that I use for miniatures, typically for Infinity, uh, and I used it for this set. I'll be using it for Takawashi as well. But yeah, this is a miniature, and yeah, the idea is I want to build some, like, classic old-school metal miniatures for this so anyway uh question of the day if you could go out right now and buy any model that you currently don't have in your collection what would it be uh two models come to mind immediately number one on my list would be the anima tactics um Celia model uh the limited edition model that you could originally only get by pledging 500 dollars to the anima video game on kickstarter next to impossible to get uh, I believe Ninja Division is going to be making that model available very soon, though. So I can't wait to get my hands on that model. It's a gorgeous model. It's one of my favorite models of all times. Uh, number two on that list would be King Starfire from Super Dungeon Explorer. This was a $50 Super Dungeon Explorer model, but man, it was gigantic. This is like an 8-inch model. Not kidding. Um... And it's just absolutely beautiful. That's the only model I need for Super Dungeon Explorer. Then I will own the entire range. So anyway, uh, coming up on three minutes here. I, I know I was keeping these at two minutes, but I appreciate you guys for sticking in. Uh, special shout out to Robert Chisholm. And uh, who else do we want to talk about here? Uh, Stephen Holmes. So Robert Chisholm doing some uh, historical stuff. Stephen Holmes working on some fantasy. What's up, guys? Uh, thanks for sticking in. Anyway. That's going to be it for this video. I want to thank you guys for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.